Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Tales of Berseria. Last episode, we arrived at Logress thanks to Magalu. Her quick thinking managed to distract the guards and we saw Artorias and he has become a shepherd, which is uh, pretty crazy. Came to this tavern down here and they know quite a bit about us. Basically, we have to do some uh, little quests for them. Went to the port, burnt some, uh, some barrels, some crates, and we saw, uh, I forget her name, the exorcist had a battle her and we arrived back at Logress, gonna hand in, hand in the quest. And see what happens next. Trouble at the docks was there? Well, so long as the job was done. So we've got two more requests to do. Search for a missing man and fall in ambush. Find and bring back a scholar named Mendy who disappeared along Gallus Lake Road. Okay. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. Alright, let's uh, head back out. I don't know where the lake is. I'm sure we can find it somewhere. I noticed at the start of this episode, there was a soul down here we can quickly grab. I think if we get 90, we can get the next chest. And we have 95. Not bad. Oh, number one there. These chests, well, cat's chests, are becoming very, very expensive. Alright, out we go. There's a few different ways we can go, so maybe the lake could be this way. I think we'll go explore. Maybe find the code red demon that's uh old thing from Tunnel Sweet. He's roaming around here somewhere. Just put a block for a second. And let's go! This guy's just getting confused left, right, and center off his uh, rope row, but. How many are there? So many! Oh, I'm snakes, always. Oh my god, so many snakes! Luckily, snakes are really easy to beat. Keep coming! Whew. We're finished here. Let's go. How much speed do we get for that? Got oh, beast fang. Nice. Let's uh, check that out. Uh, beast fang. Oh, that looks. The weapon looks sweet, but. Not great. I mean, this is better right now. Alright, I said we go up this way first. Might have to fight this guy because this guy is way too fast for us. Go away, go away. Whew. So, what does this lead? It's a save point. Hey. That noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? Mm. I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right, I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. 
That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Aww. I told you I'd be down there. Like, I went down there before. Nothing spawned. And I thought to myself, I bet that's where the thing's gonna spawn. Like, can we just run up there? Oh, check. Right, if we run across this first. Can't jump down, unfortunately. Oh, maybe we can. Wait, let's just check that. Tail coins, nice. But I might go check how strong it is and maybe try to take it on first. Go away, you snake. Oh my god, this snake is so just like the same speed as us. Oh, I can't go up. Looks like go around. Hold up, I'm done. Put through. Too slow. Very weak. Wow. You won't get any pity or. Guess we'll save it because it's pretty. Might as well. This leads here. This is where we want to be for the mission. Search for Mende in the missing skull along Gallus Lake Road. Burn this. Burn that as well? I think from the other side. Which way do we want to go? Left or right? Left or right? I say we go. Left. We're definitely in the right area. Oh! What's that big red thing? Is that another like code red enemy, maybe? Oh, it's gotta be. Okay, have a quick look. I assume it's going to be a really powerful enemy we need to like avoid. Yeah. We'll just stay away from you for now. Don't forget to get my ass whooped. <laughs> Grab that chest and then we'll uh, pop down there. Do not want to get into like millions and millions of fights though? Ah, oh, you were just born. There we go. One down. Two down. Three down and the last one. I unleashed all my power. Uh, Calcite boots. Nice. Chop them on a little bit. I'll find this dude first. This leg just seems really big, and we've got the other side to go through as well. 
Oh, there you go, could be down here. These these little missions you have to do like kinda of make you explore the whole hot area more, which is great. Yeah, definitely want we'll to take on the first code red enemy we saw on the way back. Let's just quickly do that. Those guards or is that Yeah, those guards. Who goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? Watch out! They've got Molochim! And they are pretty tough. Oh, some good damage out there. That's a level 15 or 15 guys in the back there. No! Sheesh. What do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Maybe. Can we jump up or how do we get around here? Go full of path. Oh. What is going on here? Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? All right, so now let's head Done back. What we came for. Let's get back to the old lady. Uh, before we get back, I kind of want to take on that code red enemy. Not the one around here, though. I feel like it's going to be a little bit too tough. We'll take on the first one first. And we'll come back here a little bit later on. Like Bill said, we do not want to be unprepared and die. That would be really bad. Have we been down here? We came from the top way, didn't we? It's a dead end, I think. Oh, wait, no, we can come up here for a chest. Holy bottle. Can we jump across that? We might be able to. Give it a go. There's a cat's chest up there I want to try and grab. Oh, no, we can't make that jump. We need a certain ability which we haven't got yet. Oh, should have battled that pixie, I think, but. Kinda glad we didn't. Like, I know I should be fighting enemies, you know, obviously to gain levels and stuff, and I know I've been avoiding quite a lot of uh, battles, but trust me, guys, I do battle a lot. I just don't do it on screen because you don't want to see, like, a. We get into battles every time. You know, these episodes are long enough, like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, with battles, oh, like two hours? So I do my grind off screen just to grow a level or two, just so you don't have to see all the tedious battles. Maybe we can run away, I just want to see how tough you are. Just want to just see how tough it is and then, you know, we'll run away. This is such a bad idea. Level 17, 15,000 HP. I think we can do it. I feel confident. Here we go. Let's just... Woo! We can a lot of damage, right? 
Alright, what am I doing with this? I forgot. Fourth way down. We can do this. Alright, uh, I want to yeah, say this. Lock set. I don't really know your moveset, so right now it's not going to be great, but I want to go... Stop the garden and then this. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Hang on, give me a second. I'm going to get a combo going for him. We need Mystic Hearts, but... Something doesn't even have one. I don't even need to do it, actually. Like, we... Come to the Go to uh, Velvet. Oh, I've got this in the bag. Let's go. I refuse to fall here. Ooh. One down. Another one to go. Kind of glad we went for that because that was not that tough. So level 17 I thought, you know what, because then guards are level 15, it wasn't that bad, that was right. And all these souls, but they're taken, 155 and we'll get another cat's chest by the other code red demon. It's going well so far don't you think? Well, that far into the episode, already uh, taking out one code red. And about to take on another one soon. Do you want to grab them herbs up there, though? Is that herbs or is it just souls up here? No, it's got to be a herb as well. Yeah. Rosemary, sweet. Using all my herbs a bit later on, like I always say. No, I've got all these herbs. I will be using them at some point, just don't want to waste them right now. Just want to see what like, kind of characters I'll be, you know, I'll be maining. I know you can switch characters in this game, but... I always like to play this, like, Velvet. Probably the main character. I'm so used to their, like, control schemes and stuff. Their attacks. Makes life easy. This is the way back, isn't it? Fairly certain it is. <laughs> yeah, because I think we went up, didn't we? We could have gone down or up. And we actually chose the right way to go, so that's pretty fantastic, to be honest. Pretty fantastic. I just quickly say after beating that very tough enemy. I can't get up there from this way, we have to go a different way. I'm gonna run down here, go all the way around, through that little gap there, and then we can take it on. So I can jump down here, but I don't think I can. It's like a different area. I think it needs time to load in. I've been under the bridge before. I've been under the bridge, and wow, there's a chest down there. I'm glad I took a wrong turn right here. Buffering, sweet. And we can't just run up there. That's fine. So I think because that enemy we just saw was the first code red enemy you're supposed to battle, I guess, he should be weaker than the one we just battled. That's just my theory. Yeah, it could be stronger if it's the strongest one in the game, we don't know. Doubt it is, but still. Just so because I easily beat the first one doesn't mean I should go into this battle thinking, oh, I'm going to smash this uh, Code Red Demon, I should really just be thinking. Let's still play smart. Still play smart. Hey, fella, how you doing? You're strong, but I'm Level stronger. 18, oh, so he's stronger. Weakness, uh, air, resistance, fire, and water. 30. 
Okay. Watch yourselves. This guy means business. I know, I know. Training is a good one. You get killed while doing it. Oh, look at that chain bonus though. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, go down. Straight. Okay, great. Oh, God. Ouch. Whoa. What the fuck did you want to do then? What? Okay, okay. Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, God. Nope. Uh, uh. You. Life bottle. Me. Uh. Queen's items just yet. How much longer? Where's the timer for it? I'm just going to make some time then. Come on, make time, make time, make time. There you go. Uh, Luffy set, life bottle, Aizen. Woo, this one's definitely harder. Back in, back in. I refuse to fall here. Ooh. Now that was tough. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. And that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu's a pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served them in repayment of their debt. Serve them as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, spies, body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. I trust him. I see this cat's chest as well. Can't believe how tough that battle was. Whew. Ninety-five. Okay. Rosy cheeks. Oh, that's fashion. <laughs> oh, the rosy cheeks on is funny. Right. So I want me to put the glasses onto the Luffy set. That guy does suit me a little bit. Right, ten gallon hat. It was fun while it lasted. But rosy cheeks are te too damn cute, man. Too damn cute. Oh, totally forgot. Expedition. Came back. Alright, cool. Scout ship set. Should have done that. Start the episode. And it would have been almost returned. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> Still good though. All 
Alright, let's quickly save it as well because we beat the two uh two Kogo enemies. We've got one more mission to do. The old lady in the tavern. Such a long way to go. Maybe stock up on some uh, supplies at some point as well. Run tad load. I'm gonna pick up these souls quick. Can't pass my bunch of free. It's too good. Oh, it's a little dog park. Look at the doggies. Oh, they are so adorable. Okay. Wait, are you the uh, the code red people? Yes. Four thousand printer for completing free code red hunts in addition. Free. We did two. What was the third one? Oh, that was a code red? We beat a code red at the start of the game. We should not have been battling that, but we did it. Hey, yes. It's pretty good. Don't want to use the points for anything like that, but hell yeah, right now. Pretty pleased myself. I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. And a foil in ambush is the last one. So an ambush aimed at the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. Okay. Keep up the good work. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? So where is this highway? Can I get a big look at the map? I think I have to uh, go to the open world bit to see the, uh, the map. I honestly don't know where it is. I think it's the path to here. This might be an easy one. Not easy, but you know, a quick one to, to do. Is this the highway? Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it, square. So we want to go where the the beast was. Okay. That's good. Of course, I'll use that map more often. You know what? Oh, I was actually going to battle them, I thought. Nah. Do this, and then... Probably start doing some. This is part of the main story. I think we have to do this right now, but I want to see how the uh, the story kind of unfolds right now. So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. That 
scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah, all three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. We finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> you sure do like that Mabo curry. Uh, do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated, and the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. Uh. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Huh? But I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. <sighs> You're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. At him now. He's slowly like coming up on my top five favorite characters in this game. Although, I going to say top five, I haven't really seen all of them. Obviously, Magaloo number one, then Velvet, Rokoro, uh, maybe Love is it? But I like Aizen. Seems like too many good characters, man. Too many. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. I don't, I don't think he understands it's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, poor Luffy set. Alright, let's go hand in these quests, shall we? The chest up there, how do I get up there? I need to go. No, the stairs, okay. Let's go up the stairs and grab this real quick. Plain pendant. The plain pendant. Yeah. Although plain paper is pretty good for Luffy says, so we'll see, we'll see. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's Throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? 
In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair. So I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other High Exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bear blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh <gasps> Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. Alright, well, we're going to do that next time. I'll let these skits play and I'll see you guys next episode. Have a great day. Peace. If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh... <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, 
Loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the Gilded Helavis are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price, and the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention? 